Hey guys, welcome back to Die Cash Reviews. So this is a review on the Deputy Lightning McQueen, Deputy Hazard Lightning McQueen, and Bella Cadaver 2 pack. Uh, I was talking about this one in earlier videos. I was saying how uber rare it was becoming, and they kind of skipped over the Bella Cadaver case to get to the um, case with all the new 2 packs, the Chiefess Derby 2 pack, that one. Well, now it looks like Target has gone back and started receiving this case in with Bella Cadaver. Um... And so, really, this is the case that's in Target stores now. And, you know, if you didn't really get the two-pack, like, Jeremy and Chief Dish, well, that one's coming out in 2024. But if you didn't get some of those two-packs uh, in that previous case, you're kind of out of luck now if you wanted them because they're really going to this case. Though some of those two-packs are still kind of peg-warming. They're some of the less popular ones are. Uh, like Lisa and Louise, I would not bet on finding that. But uh, Holm Haynes, I think you can find that one. But uh, they are going back to this two-pack case, which is great. They kind of skipped over it. Uh... But it's, but it's great that they're going back to it because Bella Cadaver was really running a risk of becoming a very rare release if they didn't get that two-pack case in stores. And I'm really glad that they did get it. Uh, and so more people are able to get it now. Um, yet she's not, you know, one of those rare releases that then goes for like 40 bucks on eBay in a few years. Um, but yeah, it just looks great. I, was, I don't think I've been happier to find a uh, two-pack in a store. Well, Jeremy and Chief just, but I was very happy to find uh, this two-pack when I saw it in stores. Um, it's a thrill, because I thought, you know, when they started skipping it, I thought, yeah, well, I'm going to have to get it on eBay for a ridiculous price, Amantai. Uh, but uh, then they started hitting targets, and wasn't finding it for a few weeks, and finally go out there and find it. was very happy to do so. Now, I do believe this, this two-pack is in this case, but stop sourcing. Uh, Cape McQueen. I think these three may be all in this case. I'm not sure. This one's definitely not Mark Sondheimer. Here's some Marshall. That one's in the next case. Or the previous case, but really should be the next case, but they skipped this one. But yeah, and that's in the other, in the Chief Disturby case. This one may be in this case, so may this one be. I'm not sure. I think Dragon Lane McQueen is in this case. I think. But uh, yeah, these ones are some of the other two packages you can get. These ones are really, they're peg warmers. I think you can go to any Target and still get them. Uh, they're not that popular at all. They've been way overproduced. Uh, this one, it's sometimes at Bagworms, you can find it if you want to get something. These are two technically single releases. You could find that. This one, I, at one point you could, but I think now they're becoming, now they're being just picked off since they're not getting any more uh, cases of this two pack in. But um, yeah, I mean, let's get this two pack out of the package waiting to do this video ever since this was released i mean this was this was announced back in like june or july or I think even earlier than that may and then it really never showed up until in the u.s until maybe october late october november and december here so here they are out of the package and they look great Let's uh, start off with Deputy Hazard, Lane McQueen. I've done a video on him. I'll probably link that in the description below. But uh, let's compare him to the single version that I think I did a video on back in like July or something. Sometimes there are variants in these two packs. I think, what was it? The uh, Cave McQueen. I found a variant there, right? Uh, there's some little bit more detailing on the two pack release, surprisingly. But uh, just first glance, they look basically identical here. Expressions and everything. Light bar and stuff identical. Let's take a look at the logo here. I think it looks pretty similar. I, I think I maybe just kind of be imagining it, but the logo kind of looks a bit more polished on this one, but it could just be me. There's also some like random like smudges on it. Like there you can see on the eye and there. Poor quality control on this one. Go to the side. Uh, yeah, really nothing much there. Nothing there on the back. Nothing new anyways. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess no variation here on the two-pack lightning queen. Which is okay, I mean, shouldn't really do need to have too many variants. It's interesting though, this is an S10 Edge. This is the same, uh, seven weeks later than the single release. So, not much of a difference in seven weeks. 
S10 is interesting because, let's see, what's Bella Cadaver here? S11, okay. Well, that makes sense, right? That does make sense, though. Because the two packs in the, or the cars in the two packs that really should have been after this case, but were really before this case, the Chiefess and Jeremy, those were all S23A, S24A in that range. So about, what, three months later, about 12 weeks, three months later, then Bella Cadaver. But Bella Cadaver did not come out until December. Those guys came out in late August. Yeah, I think I found them in mid-August, and that's when they were really hitting stores. So... Yeah, they. I don't know what happened with Mattel's distribution there. It's like this case just got stalled. But you, you can see them. They were produced uh, very early on in the year, like ten weeks in, which is what, not even three months. So about probably around mid February, not mid February, about mid March, uh, is when these guys were made. But that is W. Hazard McQueen. It's really interesting. interesting as he goes towards the camera there. Uh, nothing interesting. Uh, nothing new. Even though he is one of the more unique. Uh, variations of McQueen from Cars on the Road, but uh, nothing new compared to the single release that I already did a video on, and I will link that down in the description below. Let's get on to the star of the show, really the two-pack that everyone, or the character that everyone cares about, this two-pack for Bella Cadaver, the movie director in the B-movie episode. A uh, very interesting character, had some speaking lines, so it's always, you know, nice to get a character that's had speaking lines. You can see some Cars back there, Adam Rodriguez. That was not a good idea. Uh, you can see Adam Rodriguez back there. He did not have any speaking lines. Squat. I think maybe had like one speaking line. Um, but um, those two, all those three mods actually are the opening hood there as well. I found those at the same Target that I found this Bella Cadaver pack in. So that was a good Target. That was a, that was a good. That was one of the few times that I've been to Target and have left with so many die casts. Uh, that brought me back to the olden days of where you could go in and, and get a lot of new stuff. That was pretty cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at Bella Cadaver here in more detail. Obviously, you can see she's a Fiat. Or, I think... I don't think there's actually text on there, but the logo is basically a Fiat logo. So, I think that's what she's supposed to be. She has a pretty happy expression there. Blue eyes. Uh, nice smile there. And some headlights. She's a, she's a pretty cool character. I did like her in the show. Um, she's got a turn signal there. The rims are pretty cool. They're black. Usually, I think these Fiat's usually have, like, white rims. Uh, so, it's pretty cool. These dark gray, really more uh, accurate descriptions. These dark gray rims. Nice. Does have a nice red color going around her. The uh, headsets are very huge compared to her. The, uh, the like, the ear... Uh, piece themselves are very very big uh, in proportion to Bella. Go to the back here she does have a license plate. If you can zoom in on that see what that says. Uh, you can read it there I can't quite I think it might show up on my camera. Uh, EO8 I think. EO606W, I think is what that says. Yeah, EO606W. And there is a Fiat text right there. So there's just, she's a Fiat. There, there's a text. Some more taillights. And there's a little bumper bar there. Or a bumper kind of imitation with the black thing and tailpipes. And she does have a kind of an antenna right there. So, she's pretty cool. Um, like I said, she did have speaking lines in the movie, so obviously I'll put up some pictures of her later. But let's compare her right now to some other Fiats that are similar, but not quite the same model as her. This is Francesca and Franca. Or Franca and Francesca, I think. This is Franca and Francesca. But it could also be that this is Franca and this is Francesco. In other words, I don't know which one's which. Uh, but um, obviously from Cars 2, this is where most Fiats come from, are Cars 2. Um, really, I think it's the only place Fiats appeared in the Cars movies is Cars 2. And she's appeared in the Porta Corsa kind of dancing scene in um, Luigi's Village, but uh, there's a lot of uh, like Fiat's in the casino and in the race and stuff. But uh, these are a bit smaller. These are the same model, so I'll just go with the new one here. Um, these are a little bit smaller than Bella, I think. It may be the same model. Didn't think about it. I thought they were different, but uh, you can see that the fronts are actually kind of similar. Uh, the antennas, though, are larger on these ones. You can 
kind of see that right there. Also have different rims. Uh, Bella has the black ones, and then Francesca and Frank have the road hug white rims. Also, they have this kind of black hole here. I think it's like a gas gap. This is where the gas goes in for these guys. It's right here in the front. Bella does not have that. I think Bella looks a little bit more curvy there, right? And then Frank uh, here is a little bit more boxy. Uh, the license plate is a little bit different. Obviously, this is a European style license plate. This is an American style license plate. Although they do have a lot of very similar like, detail. Like you can see the bumper here, the black bumper there, uh, the tailpipes, uh, the tail lights are pretty similar. They are very similar models indeed. Um, also, I don't know why they. Oh, that's. Oh, well, no, that's not a gas gun. That's just the. Uh, Never mind. That's some, the side view mirror is like that for some reason. Uh, I don't know. But uh, the base usually will tell us if they're similar, if they're the exact same model or not. The base is different. Could just be because that's the way they made it. They split that part up there. You can see. Um, I don't know. They, I didn't think they were the same model, but they really could be. Uh, makes it a little bit harder, obviously, with the headphones to really get a good look at them. Just... Looking at the top, they do look to be the same size, so I, I, I'm i going to go ahead and say they might be the same model. It might just be a repaint of the uh, Frank and Francesco, which would also mean that they're actually a repaint of, uh, what's his name, Cardney, Gras Casper, Cardney, Brayton, uh, Cardney Casper, the McQueen fan, the orange McQueen fan. He's also a same model as these guys, um, Francesca and Frank. I didn't bring him out because I thought they were different models, so there's really a, mean, a need for comparing it to one of them um, and not both because different models but i do believe now looking at them that they are the same model which is pretty interesting actually i didn't expect that i thought they were different just kind of looking at bella i thought she was a different model uh it could just be of course the headset makes her look so much different that it's hard to judge but uh yeah i mean just looking at it i do believe they are the same model uh, but i could be wrong i mean you can you can see there that the rear view mirrors are different this is a molded in right and then these are a separate piece again that just could be a cost cutting measure these guys were released back in 2013 they were released 10 years ago um and so <laughs> a cost cutting measure obviously in those 10 years could have taken place that's again probably why her antenna is a bit smaller than these guys is um but other than that they they may be the same model obviously the headlights are a little bit different but uh could be could be the same model um a picture of Arbella appeared in the movie, or in the show, rather. She, obviously, like I said, had a bunch of speaking lines. A pretty cool character. Definitely glad that they got around this kind of first year, second year-ish of the diecast. Of course, a little diecast. But uh, let me know what you guys thought of her. Uh, are you guys having luck finding this pack if you're here in the U.S. and other countries? I think, I actually don't think other countries, some countries get two packs. I know Mexico gets two packs. Canada might. I don't, Australia doesn't get two packs, I don't think. Uh, I don't know about Europe and everywhere else. But uh, let me know if you guys are being able to find Bella Cadaver, uh, because obviously a lot of places, they skipped out on her and went straight to the German and Chief Taz two pack. Um, and those, all those cases, that case. So let me know if you guys are having luck finding Bella. I'd love to hear that in the comments below. But uh, that'll be the end of the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think of Bella down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.